Hello everyone, Dr. Arash is here. Let's discuss about the origin of the new coronavirus that's causing the pandemic all over the world. I'm sure many of you have seen the video of the lady who's eating the bat, and so many have blaming eating bat for being the reason for this pandemic outbreak. And this only comes from lack of knowledge and ignorance. First of all, the bat inside this video was a different uh, different species of the bat, different from the bat that really carry the similar virus to the coronavirus that causing this pandemic. And second of all, people have been eating bat for thousands of years all over the world, from South America to Africa and Asia. And generally bats carrying different kind of coronaviruses all over the world. For example, the study on the three different species of the bat from Myanmar, they managed to uh, separate seven different coronaviruses. They call it COV-90, COV-47, 82, and so on. And my question is, should we be expecting another outbreak after this disaster from Myanmar? Then maybe they call it SARS-CoV-47. My answer is yes, it can possible, because as long as the scientists do not stop their dangerous experiments, which is funded by the government all over the world, this can happen. This is not controversy. This is what's happening right now. So what happened in the previous uh, experience that we have with the SARS and the MERS? During this pandemic, what happened was the virus from the natural host, which was a bat, jumped to the secondary animal, which was an intermediate animal, for example, camel in the case of MERS and the cat in the case of SARS. And after exposure, but this needs a long-term exposure. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't have about one-time meeting. Because this is a very rare scenario that two virus meet and go to the procedure that called chimera, which I will explain in my next video. So what's happening is, in a very rare con condition, the virus from the original animal, for example, bat, jump to the camel and infect the camel, and there it go to the chimera, it meet another virus, it then from this meeting and mixing, a new virus come to alive. This new virus can infect this third party, for example, human. And once it's spread to the human, it need to adapt to the human. So then it can spread between humans successfully. But as you remember, in the MERS and the SARS, the pandemic wasn't as bad as the scenario that we're facing now because of the time. Virus, same as every other thing in this earth, need time to be adapting to the new environment. The new coronavirus after four months, five months, it's crazy. It's like been there for thousands of years. It can spread fast. It can, it's highly contagious and uh, it uh, jump from the human to human very easily. So in the previous uh, cases, MERS and SARS, they managed to find a virus, exact virus from the uh, secondary animal, from the intermediate animal. But in the case of the new coronavirus, till today, they could not find the intermediate animal and they could not identify the virus same as the one that contagious to the human same as the one that's circulating between us. So basically, the virus from the bat is similar to the human, but it cannot directly transmit. Then they thought it's from the snake, means the bat virus went to the snake, but that's already no-no because from the cold animal viruses, it's, very, it's almost impossible that it turn to the mammal. And then they come up with another animal which called pangolin. The spikes of the virus, the coronavirus that exists inside the pangolin, is similar to the spike of the virus inside the, uh, the that caused the COVID-19. But the problem here is there is no evidence. First of all, there are so many sanctuary of the pangolin in Africa and Asia. People being very close contact with the pangolins, and there is no record of the spread of the, any kind of viruses from the pangolin to the human. That's the first thing. And secondly. There was no pangolin, no trace of pangolin in the Wuhan seafood market. 
So we all know the pandemic starts from the Wuhan. But the bat that they put the blame on is originated from Yunnan, 1,800 kilometer away. So what's happening is one of the scientists, Dr. Shi, she's famous. They call it bat. They call her bat woman. She traveling all over the China and collecting these bats from different areas and bring them back to Wuhan, the uh, BSL-4 laboratory for identifying new coronaviruses. All right, we discuss about that. But before that, she did one test. After she discovered so many coronavirus, especially from the horseshoe bat, which have a virus similar to this, uh, causing this COVID-19, they did the test on 200 villagers around the area that this bat living, around the caves. And only 3% of the population was carrying the antibody for the SARS-like viruses. Let me break this down to you. It's very simple. First, the virus was not very contagious. Only 3% of the people was carrying the antibody. It's different from this virus that is killing more than 200,000 people right now. Secondly, the body could easily repel it by producing antibody. So it was not as killing, as, as dangerous as this virus. So how does this virus come from? Based on my knowledge, when they get the bat, they bring it back to the lab. They identify the virus. Then they go to the pandemic research. This pandemic research is very dangerous research that they do right now. It has no benefit for the humanity. Totally. You cannot make vaccine out of it because they knowing these viruses for more than five years and they still know virus. What they do is they go through the RNA reverse sequencing and chimera of the virus, which I explain in my next video. Basically, they do changes in the in the gene of the virus and then they mix it also with another virus. So basically they make, they turn a non-pathogenic virus to the pathogenic virus just to study how does it spread. So they make a new, <laughs> like atomic bomb. They make a new killing machine, which we cannot see it and it can easily spread. And we cannot blame this on China because this is a very common uh, practice. And part of this practice actually was funded by American 3.5 million grant for this. And now that this disaster happened, NIH has canceled the funding for the bat coronavirus research project in China. So you be the judge, you decide where does this virus coming from? But to me, the odds are against the natural happening of this virus uh please uh, subscribe and like if you think this vi this uh, video was helpful and share some knowledge and my aim is to share this knowledge the more we know the less ignorant we are the less in danger we are and we must know what's happening around us and what and how the government spending our taxes so please stay safe until next time stay fine